Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here with Fred and Nash and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands he's learned here at school. We're going to start off by introducing the training equipment. Fred's got a standard six foot web training leash. He keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand which leaves his left hand free to make a correction which is a simple tug and release on the training collar and that's the second piece of equipment. Now Nash has been fitted with his very own training collar. We'll show you how to properly use that when he comes home tomorrow. And we're going to start off with healing, which is properly walking on the leash. Heel. And the command is Nash heal. Now at this point right now, he's got a job to do. And that's to stay even with your left hand side, not to forge ahead or lag behind. And you notice whenever Fred stops moving his feet, Nash has been trained to automatically sit and wait for the next command. Now that's nice when you're trying to cross the street or talk to someone. You don't need him lunging out or jumping or anything like that. Nice automatic sit. Now the next command we're going to show you is the stay command. It's a hand and a voice command. Okay. Fred uses the flat of his left hand and the one word firm command to stay. Now Nash can be a little stubborn as I'm sure you know. So we generally save the bulk of our praise towards the end of the training session. Now he broke that command a little bit, Fred's going to go right back to it, put him right back into that sit stay, and we'll try that again. Stay. The one word firm command to stay, Fred uses the flat of his left hand. Now these sit stays, it's important to practice. Keep them relatively short, one to three minutes. Start off at one minute when Nash comes home, working your way up to three minutes. Now when Fred returns back to him, you'll notice he walks all the way around him to get back to heel position. And walking around your dog like that helps with his attention span, with his focus. Nice automatic sit. Nice automatic sit. Fred's going to put him into another sit stay. And it's going to be important you work with Nash at home. You can do three or four times a week. I broke that command again. You heard Fred say no. Whenever he does something that you guys don't like, the word no should come out of your mouth right away. And this is our come command. Nash has been trained to come back to you sit automatically when he reaches you as opposed to jumping on you or putting his feet up on you. Go. Yep. So again, practicing these commands at home three to four times a week if you can. Keep your training sessions relatively short. 10 or 15 minutes at a time is more than enough. Nice automatic sit. Okay. That's going to give him the stay command again. You can see he starts to anticipate and he's stubborn but he's also smart. So he anticipated that come command just a little bit. Fred's healing him out of that. The next set of commands we're going to show you is going to be the down commands. Just like with your sit stays and stuff like that, they are a hand and a voice command. Nice automatic sit. Fred's going to use the flat of his left hand and the one word firm command to down. Your down stays last three to five minutes, a little bit longer than your sit stays. And we're going to show you both how to work with Nash when you come to pick him up tomorrow. That'll be the most important part. As Fred returns back to him, he walks all the way around him, gets back to heel position. And we'll heal him out of that. Nice automatic sit. Nice automatic sit. Down. Fred gives him that down command again. Okay. It's kind of an exaggerated down command. Tells him to stay. And this time, instead of returning back to Nash, he's going to use that recall or that come command. Use the leash to guide him in. 
automatically sits once he gets to him. Fred gives him a little pat on the head for some praise. Heals him out of that. And then the final command we're going to show you is going to be our down from a distance. That's where Fred will put him into a sit stay. Go to the end of the six foot training leash and give him the one word firm command to down. Has him seated. Tells him to stay. Goes all the way out to the end of the leash. Don't give him the one word firm command to down. Very good. So we had a couple little hiccups, which is okay because you saw how you could correct them once he comes home. We want to thank you so much for using Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. And we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.